despite the round-the-clock repair work on the Obamacare website and claims from the Obama administration that the site is now working for a majority of Americans, a nasty surprise may be in store for some of those Americans trying to get insurance. It turns out a long list of still unresolved problems means that some people who thought they signed up for insurance may not actually be covered come January 1st. Joining me now is Monica Crowley, a Fox News contributor, to talk more about maybe the political impact of all of this. You know, the website issue was very visible, right? You try to log on, you can't, you can't do it. This is a different type of problem. It's not as easily seen and it's delayed. So how big of an impact do you think it's going to be if it does happen? Yeah, you know, when the website launched on October 1st, there were two huge problems that we knew about. I'm sure there were more problems that we didn't know about, but two big ones that we knew about right away. The first was the front end, what the consumers saw. They couldn't even log on. So there was a lot of frustration that people said, look, I'd like to get into these exchanges, but I can't even log on. I'm being timed out. I'm losing my information. They said that they were going to fix that part of it, which it looks like by and large, they largely got some of that at least fixed. But the other big problem here was that the back end of this website was not even built and they're still working on it. And the problem here, Jenna, is that the back end is the cash register. The back end of this website is where Obamacare's rubber meets the road. This is where you actually pay to enroll in these exchanges. If you don't have the back end of this website up and running where people can actually complete the transaction, you don't have Obamacare. Is there a jump ball of blame, though, in that? when if, and if it does happen, because we don't know yet. The ex expectation is it would happen when people show up to the doctor's office and think they have insurance and then realize that maybe they're not registered with that. I is it the president's problem? Is it the website technician problem? Is it a consumer problem? Is it an insurance company problem? How does it actually play out at that point? It's everybody's problem here. But ultimately, from a political standpoint, of course, it's the president's problem. This is his signature piece of legislation. It has his name on it. It is Obamacare. It will define his presidency one way or the other. So ultimately, the buck does stop with him. The problem is we've seen a couple of waves of big catastrophes so far with people getting cancellation notices. Upwards of six million people had their insurance canceled. The second wave, people can't get on the website to actually buy this insurance. You're going to have a couple more waves of catastrophes coming. But I think the next one is the one that you just pointed out, that come January 1st, people are going to think, hey, I enrolled in Obamacare. I'm covered. They're going to go to their doctor. God forbid something major happens to them. They're going to find their well, Covered. It's interesting, though, the, the man that served as Health and Human Services Secretary for the Bush administration said this happened when they did the Medicare Part D. People showed up to the pharmacy and thought that they had coverage and then they didn't. And he said it was very difficult, but they fixed it. And now look at the plan. And for the most part, people are happy with it. Is this the same thing? The We're going to hear is, that. The, yes. Uh, the problem here is that they've had three and a half years to get this website up and running and going and communicating to consumers what they need to do. I mean, here the onus is on the consumer. The onus is on you then to follow up past the website to call these insurers, find out if you're actually covered. And if not, then follow through on your own. I'm not sure a lot of people know about that, that angle that the onus is on them. I think a lot of people signing up for Obamacare think, oh, the government's going to take care of me. I'm going to have Obamacare now. I don't need to worry about it. But that's actually not true. And I'm not so sure many people know that they have a responsibility here as well. Well, when you online shop, the shoes just show up at your front door. You don't Always, have to follow Jenna. through. Always. <laughs> so with insurance, it's going to be a little different if we have to follow up ourselves. Private sector versus government sector. That's right. Monica, great to see you as Thanks always. Thank you. John?